All right, welcome back to the Quick Speed Shop. What I'm doing this morning, I'm going to get in the van. We got the trailer on, and we're going to go across town and pick up some old flathead powered stationary power plants I bought. So let's fire it up, and I'll hit the road. Here we go, we're eastbound and down in the van. Uh, so what I bought here is, uh, these are K.R. Wilson power plants. If you look KR, up at K.R. Wilson, they were made in Buffalo, New York. Um, originally they made tools and like engine stands and axle uh, uh, hub pullers and stuff like that. They got recognized by Ford for being a high quality uh, tool maker and became the official supplier, I think, for all Ford related shop tools. So, uh, you know, back in the day, you didn't have, you had a lot of uh, call for stationary power plants to run equipment. You had a lot of belt-driven equipment, all that stuff like that. So K.R. Wilson built these stationary power plants, which was a, a steel framework that a Ford flathead four-cylinder or V8 was mounted to with a radiator, and then you had a, your a gearbox with like a twin disc clutch on the back, and you had an in-and-out lever, or you had like a generator, or a multitude of other different types of things. So you could run like water pumps, like uh, corn grinders, generators, pretty much any type of piece of equipment. So anyways, uh, the guy you know that is out like a picker, he uh, let me know about this guy that's having a sale. It's an older gentleman, he's uh, moving, and he's been collecting these power plants for a long time, and uh, you don't usually see them come up for sale. So I shot over there and uh, made a deal on two 1938 flathead-powered uh, stationary power plants. So. One runs, uh, one did run until the fan went through the radiator, but I've got another radiator to go with it. So I bought a couple other things, I bought some heads, a couple of transmissions, uh, some other stuff. But we're going to go on over there after breakfast and load that stuff up. So I made it back, no problem. Uh, after loading stuff up, I got a bunch of cylinder heads in the back of the van, a bunch of flathead heads. Here's a 37 Ford 60 horsepower rear end uh, with 444 gears out of a 60 horsepower car. And here's the two KR Wilson industrial power plants. The little guy open on the right, and this one here on the left has a hood. Uh, this one. The fan went through the radiator, the generator broke, so this is currently apart. It'll need some tinkering, but the one on the side with a blue painted engine runs. These are uh, 81T truck motors in these. I believe they're both 1938 vintage motors. I've got an extra crash box here. Go ahead and get them unloaded.
I got the rest of my craft unloaded. I got a sun engine analyzer set here. It's going to clean up nice. It's from 1957, and I got the manuals with it. All right, dang, I've been struggling all day and night with these things. Finally got the van unloaded, put all those flathead heads away, and the transmission, all the junk in the van, got that all put away. And uh, I got these inside, so we'll, we'll take a look what these are. I told you the KR, uh, KR Wilson units here. And I've actually, the guy had a pamphlet here. I don't, this shows what these are. This one here on the left is the uh, the Guardian. It's the indoor indoor unit that would have been like in a mechanical room of a hospital or whatever like that to run run equipment or in a factory. And this one would be an outside unit with a hood on it, which would be the enclosed type unit here. Oop, the enclosed type unit out there, so you could have that outside to run run equipment. So basically, what K.R. Wilson out of Buffalo would do, they would buy the Ford engines and then they would manufacture all this. You buy the Ford engine and you get the truck radiator. This is a, these are truck blocks. You got the T, the 81 T heads on their truck engine blocks. Um, which I think the only difference is the heads might be a little bit different. And then the truck radiator. But it's your, uh, your stock Ford flathead. But anyways, uh, this unit here, I put the hood back on it. It's had a little problem where the, uh, the generator broke and it chucked the fan into the radiator. So this one came with a spare radiator. And it, I'm not sure how long ago we had it running, but I'm going to have to go through it a little bit, change the radiator, and uh, clean things up, get things hooked back up. But this one he had running a year ago, and I think with a little bit of tinkering, this the indoor unit will run just fine. Let me run around the back, and I'll show you the controls. So on the back here, what you get is you got a... This has got a 37 Ford uh, throttle and, and throttle and choke... Uh, buttons on it, as well as a 37 Ford starter button and this Guardian here this is a set of contacts so you got to hold this little piece down and it makes contact for the ignition and then you start it here you pull your choke out pull your uh, pull your choke out pull the throttle on a little bit then hit the starter and turn it turn the ignition on and hit the starter here but uh, you hold this down and when you release it it holds contacts in and it, it checks for uh, engine temperature and oil pressure and if it drops below 6 psi oil pressure or if the temperature goes over 195 degrees the contacts will jump out here and it'll kill the ignition so you don't you know this thing will be meant to be starting left run with nobody watching it so this will drop out and shut the thing off if there's a there's an issue but what you got here for your mechanical stuff here you drive your implement off the back somebody's cut the shaft off this one and I uh, put this disc on here that would have had a long shaft on it out to about here um, to match the other motor over there so I got the long shaft on it. But basically what you do is this is freewheeling and this is marked uh, in, out. So you got a double disc clutch here. You just basically pull this over and it locks it in and run, runs your drive. And you can see you got your oil, your, uh, oil pressure and your uh, amp gauge here. Uh, this 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 housing is cast iron. All this is cast iron. On the big outside unit here, this is all cast iron here. Super heavy. Same thing. Got your little point contact down here. A little bit different layout on the throttle. Chokes up here. Uh, your oil pressure. I'm sorry. That was oil pressure over there. Oil pressure and, and amperage here. Got the logo KR Wilson cast right in the back of this. And uh, same thing. You got your you got your double disc clutch there now. This is turning the engine over now. And turning the starter. Starter must be stuck, I see. But anyways, all this is cast iron. The thing's pulled with a big channel iron frame. This is the factory KR Wilson frame that came with it. So, uh, pretty cool. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tinker around with this here in an upcoming video. And we'll fire this sucker up and see what it sounds like. It had just a straight pipe. I don't know if I'm going to... I might put a little glass pack on it just so it's not real loud. But I think it's going to be cool. I'm going to make a, a trailer or put an axle under this frame so I can take this to shows like the steam show and some uh, other shows, tow it behind one of my other rigs and show, that, show up there and fire it up for the people there at the show. So I think that would be cool. So anyways, a uh, whole day worth of heavy lifting and grinding. I hope 
tomorrow. I'll be able to walk around without having my back hurt too much. But I got a swap meet I got to go tomorrow, so I'm loaded up for that, ready to go. More heavy junk. Everybody, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. The button's going to be over here on the back of the tranny. Bank right there. Hit it. Hit the bell for the alerts. And uh, I put out new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again at the quick speed shot.